So do I gotta take my jacket off? Yeah. Okay. Arms up. Is your name Tiffany Haddish? Yes. Were you born in Los Angeles, California? Yes. So you're an LA girl? Yes. Just like her? Not like her, but yes. And you started your career as a stand-up comedian, correct? Yes. So you're confident that you're funny? Yes. Funnier than me? I don't know. You starred on The Carmichael Show, correct? Did I star on it? No. Co-starred. Would you call that your big break? No. Are things just going to keep getting bigger for you from this point on? Yes. Are you nervous right now? Yes. Ready to take a lie detector test? Yes. I'm not that nervous. I'm excited. Are you worried we'll find something you're trying to hide? No. Is there anything you want to admit before we begin? I have to pee. And I might need to take a number two. First up, let's talk about your life. You used to work in customer service for Alaska Airlines, right? Yes, Alaska Airlines, that is correct. Would you say that you were good at customer service? I would say I'm, I'm excellent at customer service. Do you think you're the type of person who would get swindled into joining a cult? <sighs> yes and no. It depends if it's a cute guy. What if it was the Illuminati? Hell no. So you're not a part of the Illuminati? No, I talk too much. I tell the truth too much. <laughs> they, would, they would never. <laughs> I tell too much. If that's even real. Is that real? Is Illuminati real? We should hook him up to find out. Can you tell a joke in Japanese? Ni <laughs> You've become quite successful over the past few years. Would you say that that success has changed you? I don't think so. Would anyone describe you as a diva? No. I don't think so. I haven't thrown phones at nobody or anything. Not yet, anyways. What has been your most ridiculous green room request? My most ridiculous green room request? Yeah. Five hour energy drinks? That's it? I mean I don't have a, I don't have gluten free chips. Maybe. Interesting. They bring I ask for gluten free chips and you know what they bring me in certain states? Tortillas. Straight up corn tortillas. Well where, where they do that at? Places that don't have gluten free chips. You ever tell a joke at a bar mitzvah? At bar mitzvahs. Multiples. Clean jokes? Clean jokes, yes. And I was an energy producer. That was my title. Would you tell us one of those family-friendly jokes right now? A uh, family-friendly joke? Yes. Um, my name is Tiffany, like the diamonds, but I don't have no diamonds. I wish I did. Maybe they should call me Ifany. Like, if and I had money, I'd be Tiffany. That's very funny. That's what I would open with. Have these family-friendly jokes ever led to someone dying? Yes. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Let's be honest. I didn't kill him. The energy, the electricity, the excitement. But he died on his own. He killed himself. I just danced. Okay, he didn't kill himself. But I was dancing and with him and then he fell back, was holding his hand over his chest, with a smile on his face. He didn't die there at the hospital. Would you say he died happy? I'd like to think so, yes. Do you ever Google yourself? Yes. Are you happy with what you find? Most of the time, yes. Is there something about you that people would be surprised to find out? That my room is junky? Yes. All the time? It's been the last two years. My bedroom looks like a tornado hitting, honey. Like, it looks like an episode out of Hoarders. It's bad. I have to sleep on top of my clothes. It's, it's quite depressing, actually. 
if someone were to categorize your hoarding tendencies, they would say you're a stage. I would say like a stage two hoarder. It's okay. It's depressing. <sighs> Maybe stage four. He made marks over there. What the fuck does that mean? Now let's dive into your career. So you titled your autobiography, The Last Black Unicorn. Yes. Is the unicorn your spirit animal? Unicorn is not my, I don't know what my spirit animal is to be honest, but I call myself that because I had a wart growing out of my forehead as a small, as a young girl, and people used to call me dirty ass unicorn. And so I decided to take what they called me and use it to my advantage. And yeah, I am a unicorn. I'm a magical creature. There's a lot of people that cannot do what I can do and survive what I've survived. So I'm a unicorn. I'm special. Put a mark next to that, bro. <laughs> you starred in the movie Girls Trip. Yeah. Well, no, I co-starred in Girls Trip. Did you feel awkward shooting that grapefruit and banana scene? No, that grapefruit and banana scene was super fun to shoot. Did you have to do a lot of takes? I think about eight or so, somewhere between eight and ten. What would you say your best take was? I would say my first take was the best take because that's where Jada and Queen Latifah spit up their food. And then they decided not to eat during the take because they were spitting every time. Was this co-star difficult to work with? No, she was not. She was fun to work with. Does this woman make you laugh on set? Yes, she does. Did you or any of your co-stars during the filming of that movie do anything that would be considered illegal? I don't think so. No. Well, that's legal now. No, I don't think so. Really? I mean, well, we, no, that's not illegal. No. Did that check out? I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know if it is. Would you say that this man is funnier than this man? Did I break the machine? No. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't call it. Because one has a bigger vernacular than the other. But then the other one, they're both like equally funny. I wouldn't say that either is more funnier than the other. Which one has the bigger vernacular? Uh, Keegan has a bigger vernacular. He says a new word to you every day that you never heard, that you never even knew existed. Then you have to go look it up. He's like the word of the day, dude. Would you say that you're funnier than this person? Dave Chappelle? No, I wouldn't say that I'm funnier than that person. And do you intimately know this person? Yes, I do. When was the last time you saw her? In Atlanta, was that Atlanta? No, in New York, when she performed in New York. That's the last time I saw her. But I saw her on TV the other day, but... The last time I saw her in person was when she performed in New York. It was New Jersey, actually, to be technically correct, but it's right next door, so. Is she a better cook than you? I mean, her cooking is good, and my cooking is better. And if you were to change something about her cooking to make it as good as yours, you'd say? I don't know, I wouldn't change anything about her cooking. It's not bad, it's, it's really, it's good, but mine's just better because I do it with a smile. I would suggest she smiles when she doesn't. Okay, and let's move on to dating. Mm-hmm, okay. Are you single? Yes. Do you enjoy dating? Yes. Would you ever date a fan? Yes. Have you ever dated a fan? I'm gonna say yes, I'm not sure, but yes. Because I think anybody that likes me is a fan, period. Are you comfortable with paying on the first date? No, but yes, but no. Cause I've done it, but I don't like it. Do you think there's ever an appropriate time for you to pay on the first date? Uh, 
now. Do you think you could ever be in an open relationship? Hell yeah. Are humans meant to be monogamous? Yes, they no. Some are, some aren't. Does playing hard to get work for you? Not for me. So if you were at a party and someone you liked was there, would you try to get their attention? Most definitely. How would you do that? I walk right up to them like, hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> it's me. Then I walk away. And then I pop back up again. I just keep popping up like a bad penny. Then I'll be like, hey, do you want to hang out with me sometime? And then hopefully they say yeah. Most guys, they say, yeah, sure. But then they never answer your phone call. <sighs> Have you ever been on a dating app? Yes. What does your bio say? <laughs> that I like Arsenio Hall. <laughs> I'm a big Arsenio Hall fan. Let's finish out with pop culture. Did you take Will and Jada Smith on a Groupon tour? Yes, I did. On a scale of one to 10, how high were you? <laughs> like a six, seven. I was, I was up there. I was feeling really good. How were the alligators? They were cute. They was just chilling, just looking. And then we throw out the marshmallows. Like, ah, they go crazy for marshmallows. I was saying to the to the, the cruise guy, the, the boat swamp guy, like, well, you guys keep giving these alligators marshmallows. Don't you think they might get diabetes? And what did he say? He said, they'll be fine. Do you think you could ever become Will and Jada rich? That That is my mission is to become Will and Jada rich. So, yes, I believe it is possible. I want to make $285 million. That's quite a goal. And by the time I'm 50. And then by the time I'm 60, $700 million. That's it? Yeah, 700 million is good. Do you manage your own Twitter? Yes, I do. Have you ever been in a Twitter feud? <laughs> yes, I have. Do you think it's better to ignore haters or to engage? It depends on who the hater is. It depends on who the hater is, but um, I like I like to let them know that I see them. Because sometimes they try to hate and they think you don't see them. So I like to let them know they're, they're being seen. But my Twitter war was when Twitter first came out and I got into it with this kid. I didn't know it was a kid. I thought it because they said a Tiffany Haddish should get hit by an ice cream truck and die. So then I said, your mom should have swallowed. And then they said some more mean stuff, and then I said some more mean stuff, and then they said, "Why well, I don't know why you would talk to a 16-year-old like this. And I was like, well, I don't know why you didn't put that you were 16 in your bio, but I apologize. Okay, final question. Throughout this entire interview, did you tell anything that might be considered a lie? I don't think so. Have you been truthful this entire time? I'm pretty sure I have, yes. Have I? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Maybe I talk too much. 